Now that we've gotten a taste of DXRT, as well as Nvidia's latest lineup of RTX GPUs, it brings their value and overall performance into question. With the cheapest RTX card costing over $350, and the high-end RTX 2080 Ti clocking in at well over $1,000, you're paying a premium for a product that hasn't been proven with modern gaming tech. So is it worth paying extra for one of these relatively new and unproven GPUs, and will your investment pay off in the long run? Okay, so in this video we're mostly going to be discussing the overall value of the newish RTX lineup of cards. Naturally, like previous generations, there are different models that offer different tiers of performance. This includes the RTX 2060, RTX 2070, RTX 2080, RTX 2080 Ti, and the Titan RTX. All of these cards utilize Nvidia's latest touring microarchitecture, which includes RT and Tensor cores. For the cheapest RTX card, the 2060, you're paying around $350 for performance that roughly matches the GTX 1080 in rasterization performance. While that's incredible when comparing the price to previous generations, when checking this card against other, more premium RTX models, it doesn't hold up as well. With DXRT performance roughly 15% behind the RTX 2070, this card doesn't run its new marketed feature all that well. Even when looking at the $500 2070, DXRT performance is rather sluggish when considering the price. In fact, in order to get passable ray tracing performance, you'd need to spend around $700 on the RTX 2080. If you're looking to experience Battlefield 5 or Metro Exodus with the ray tracing enabled, it would be best to buy a more premium card, as the RTX 2060 and 2070 fall behind their bigger brothers in the DXRT department. But when considering rasterization performance, the RTX 2060 is a phenomenal card, as it's roughly 3% behind the GTX 1080 and 3% ahead of the 1070 Ti. So if you are looking for great 1440p performance, then going with the cheapest RTX GPU would provide you with the beyond impressive value and experience. But when looking at the more expensive options, more specifically the 2080 and 2080 Ti, their huge jump in price leaves a lot to be desired. If you're looking for 1440p 60fps completely maxed out, then the RTX 2060 and RTX 2070 for that matter would be great cards and are an excellent value when taking other features into consideration. But with the release of the GTX 1660 Ti and the less capable GTX 1660, does that devalue the RTX line and make them sort of worthless? Well, when considering that the RTX cards have features that the GTX cards just straight up don't, it carves a small niche in the market for the newer, more feature-packed GPUs. But that isn't to say that the new GTX card should be ignored. It really just depends on what you're looking for. When considering the future and the direction in which the tech industry is heading, going with an RTX GPU would last you longer, but you would have a steeper upfront investment. Meanwhile, the much cheaper GTX 1660 Ti provides performance that beats the GTX 1070, while also being more efficient, but at the cost of the future-proofing RT cores. If you want to experience ray tracing and what it has to offer, then purchasing something like an RTX 2070 or RTX 2080 would let you get the best of both worlds in advanced lighting and anti-aliasing. But as time progresses, this technology will become cheaper as there's more acceptance of the new tech in the market. If you just want a new gaming card and you won't be messing around with any of the new tech, then the GTX cards are definitely the way to go. Personally, if I were in the market for a new GPU, then I'd go for a GTX 1660 Ti. Not only is the general performance rather impressive for the price, but its features and overall availability would hold you over for a few years until RT-capable tech has had some time to mature and become cheaper. While getting in on the new features is definitely cool, it comes at a much higher upfront price simply because it's new and more expensive to produce. Holding off on RTX in favor of a new GTX card would really be the best choice at the moment. Not only is the performance offered by these cards incredible, but it's not at a heavy premium that the early adopters end up paying. In the end, it really just comes down to what you want to do in the future. If you're fine with traditional rendering techniques, then the GTX 1660 and 1660 Ti are the way to go, as they provide some incredible price to performance. But if you want to get in on DXRT and DLSS, then paying the premium might just be worth the price. If you're looking at an RTX 2060, honestly just go with the 1660 Ti instead, as the 2060 struggles with the new and expensive tech. But if you're going for an RTX 2070 or even a 2080, then these new cards are definitely worth the premium as you get access to the new tech and can run it at reasonable speeds. In the end, it all just comes down to you and which upgrade path you plan to take.
So thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and click the bell icon so you'll be notified about all our future uploads. And tell us, what do you think of the RTX line when compared to the new GTX cards? I personally find the new tech exciting, but it's also incredibly expensive. But tell us what you think. I can't wait to see what you have to say, and I hope you have a fantastic day. So thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.